Hey out there, it's your man, Gadget Fox, yet with another video. But before I continue, I'd like to one, thank you personally for coming back, and two, I'd like to remind you to go ahead and like this video and then subscribe to this channel. Many of you have been struggling just as I have been to get a hold of a 3090, and without paying street market prices or renting my own robot out, I decided to go the alternate route and pick up a pre-built. More specifically, the one you see in front of you is the Alienware Aurora R12. Now, if you're like me, you like to personalize and customize anything you get your hands on. This is no different. I've watched all the videos out there, and the one thing I can't find is that can the Alienware hold two GPUs at the same time? So I decided to make this video. Let's start with a layout of the R12. Right here, you have the 1000 watt power supply, an old school hard drive that's gonna be junk anyway, a 120 millimeter fan to keep this thing cool, and in the center, you have a bracket that holds the GPU in place. As you can see, Dell went ahead and provided us with the additional power cable coming out of the 1000 watt power supply for the intended second GPU. Around back, you're gonna to have to release these latches going up first because the power supply is designed with a swing door operation. This thing opens up like a barn door. It's pretty cool actually. Now, before you go ahead and swing it out, you wanna make sure you've removed all the cables from the hard drive because you don't wanna head and snap any of the cables or clip any of the cables. It's real easy to do too. But with a little bit of force, you swing it out to the right and you see the guts inside. You wanna make sure all the cables have not been clipped and they're stayed in place in the motherboard. That bracket, like I mentioned before, not only does it hold the GPU in place while in transport, it also keeps it from sagging. I think it's an actual good design from Dell. I really like it, but with two GPUs, it ain't gonna do any good for us. Here's a look at a second 3090 from Dell. As you can see, left to right, it fits, but we're not gonna be able to get that second GPU in until we remove those lower brackets that are meant to hold additional storage out of the case. They're held each end by two Phillips screws. All you have to do is just go inside and unscrew each of them so that you can remove it and make space for the second GPU. I brought the camera in closer so that you can see removing the additional hard drive bays is very, very easy. All they do is just swing to the front and you can pull them right out. Removing those two bays exposes two vents, one in the front and one in the back that should help bring more air to the second GPU with the assistance of the 120 millimeter fan. As you can see to the left to the right, it fits from the bottom to the top, it fits. Let's go ahead and plug this bad boy in. We're gonna to have to remove the graphics plates from the back of the R12. My recommendation is just remove everything you can so that you can welcome more air more air always helps out your computer. Any case, we're gonna swing the power supply back to the left and we're gonna go ahead and reach around and grab those power cables already coming out from the 1000 watt power supply. These cables are gonna be your standard 16 pin connections. Any of your 30 series cards are gonna work perfectly with the Dell Aurora R12 and it's real easy to just go ahead and connect them. Now I say easy, but I really mean is painful. Either I have fat fingers or delicate fingers because every time clipping in the power supply into the GPU always leaves my fingers tingling with pain. You know what, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Tell me what your worst experience is with pre-builds or working with your own computer. Any case, these cables in the back you want to make sure that you shove them as far back as possible and out of the way of the second GPU because you want to properly seat everything into the PCIe slot. The last thing you want to do is just open after opening this sucker up and working inside that when you turn it on that it doesn't recognize the second GPU and then you just have to go right back to the beginning. So make sure you push them back. Once everything has been put into place, it's time to slide in that second GPU into the second PCIe slot. This should be very, very simple. Align it right, push it in, making sure there's no sag, making sure there's proper connection. We should be ready to play. 
as you can see underneath the second GPU, those two vents should support proper airflow and the 120 millimeter fan should be able to bring in enough air to cool the gaps between the first 3090 and the second 3090. I'll swing that door right back into place, making sure that everything's aligned and those latches are placed in the proper position to make sure everything is secure. I can't wait to see how this performs. Now, caveat, I'm going to tell you, I know the 3090s have a problem with video memory RAM becoming extremely hot. So I know there's going to be some future mods. So look forward to future videos, seeing how it can resolve the heat issue that these two mega cards are going to produce while I game or mine with them. Always ensuring I put everything back into place. I can't wait to show you guys the stats and how this thing plays with me. As I cross my fingers and wait for this thing to boot, two things I really want to express. One, before doing any adjustments with or including any new graphics card to the R12, really visit Nvidia's site and download the latest and greatest drivers so that you can ensure that everything's going to be compatible with each other. Second, you can see I left the panel off of the R12. I am not going to burn this thing out. There are two 3090s, okay? You really want to provide this thing with as much air as possible. Now, as you can see, I was able to log in. Everything boots up exactly how it should. Both of the 3090s are receiving power. As you can see, they're well lit, so there's no tricks or gimmicks here. Checking out the device manager, you can see that both 3090s are recognized. And swooping over to the computer, there they are, sitting restfully and peaceful, ready to be unleashed. Now all I need is the NV link from NVIDIA, and I should be able to combine both of its powers. Here, I decided to run NiceHash just to see what each of the 3090s were going to provide me with. And as you can see, each of them are giving over 100 mega hashes per second. This thing is going to be a beast for both mining and gaming. And then I can't wait to see how it improves my editing. Look guys, you know what I do here. I provide reviews of things that I have decided to do or buy. All honest. I can't wait to show you the future mods I'm going to have to do for this thing because we got to deal with heat. But until then, Gadget Fox.